Hi, it's Jane with Scraptastic Yarns Podcast. Today is Monday, the 24th of June, and I'm coming to you a day early, uh, mainly because tomorrow I um, get to go to the eye doctor, and because I'm diabetic, I get to have my eyes stay up dilated for every stinking visit. It's a thrill. No, not really. <laughs> um, I did get some happy mail this week and uh, one of the first things was from Wanda of Rolling, Rolling Through Life. I don't know why words are troubling today. Mm. Who knows? And she had a secret giveaway, and I won that secret giveaway. And um, this first yarn is Yarnado by Lion Brand. Look at that color. Isn't that gorgeous? And this is called Cyclone. I have never seen Yarnado. And it is soft. It's nice. It is a four weight. And then the second item in that giveaway was again another yarn nato in the color twister and both of these are beautiful she had also included a little note congratulating me and telling me that she could hardly wait to see what I was going to make with it I have signed up for the crochet crowds study of textures maybe that's not it the summer crochet along which i believe is the study of the earth so i think i'm going to use these two cakes as well as a couple of other cakes that i have that are different brands but i think i'm going to see if i can use those in that if not i'll figure something else out but yeah, that was um, the first Happy Mail that I did get from Wanda. And the second thing that I received was my Jimmy Beans wool. And they had sent a note out telling everybody. Now the yarn's already out of this. And I'll show you why in a minute. Well, those aren't from Jimmy Beans because they had sent a message that it was going to be late because there was an item that had been held up in customs. Now I know it's not the yarn that was held up in customs, so it leads me to wonder if it was this lovely Jimmy Beans pen. I don't even know if it works. Yeah, it works. Or if it was this lovely notepad, which is a shopping list. Of course, the first thing on every page is more yarn. Now, I won't use it for shopping list. I use something totally different for my shopping list. And then, of course, it came with the soak. But let me get into the little bag because I do keep everything in the bag once I have it. And of course, this is the bag that came in the first one. I'm going to remove the object. This is the yarn that came. And it is called, it is Sugar Bush Cabot. Western white. It is 70% Pima cotton, 30% linen, and it supposedly had 145 yards in there. Now you can see there's a little bit left because um, I did finish the project, but I want you to see what that is. This is in between a size 10 and a size 5 thread. You use a size G hook. 
And the reason I'm mentioning that is because of this. This is the finished bag. It's supposed to be a market bag. And uh, I did add some buttons to it. But this bag is supposed to fit on your arm. Now we all know I'm a chubby girl. Not a problem. I already know that. But I want you to look at this bag. And uh, now I'm going to show you the pattern. This is the picture they show of the bag. Woman with the bag. And I'm going to tell you, my bag is not that big, but it meets gauge. I was not impressed with the design of the bag. Normally, I love Mike Selix patterns. He is the person who created this pattern. It is called the Stitcher Went to Market. But, um, this bag is not the bag that this is. And this is pitiful. Um, I have not washed it. Generally, cotton shrinks a little bit. So, I'm not really impressed with this. However, you will notice I did add some buttons. I had these wild buttons, tie-dye buttons, that uh, I just added to it. I'm rather disgusted with this yarn. Uh, like I said, it is more of a thread than an actual yarn. I don't know that you could even call it a size one. Um, the, like I said, the skein of yarn runs about $12, and uh, this cost me 15 to get that box, the pad, the pencil, and the soap. I have canceled my Jimmy Beans Crochet Club because the value just... It's just not there. So, um, I'm like I said, I'm rather disappointed. However, yesterday I had to stop. Well, not yesterday. Saturday, I stopped at Dollar Tree to pick up my yarn, and uh, I had ordered a bag of the um, a box of the Unforgettable Waves in the colorway Aurora. I will show you that in just a little bit. But while I was waiting for them to go get it, I found these cute little bags. One there. And that bag. And then of course this bag. So this bag has a couple of uh, stitch markers in it that I was using in a project. So, um, they're kind of cute. They're more of a, I would call it like a pleather type material. So they should hold up for a little bit. But, uh, yeah. Let me put you on pause and I will go get that yarn that I picked up from Dollar Tree. And I will tell you about the continuing saga of the Dollar Tree yarn. Okay, I'm back. And this is the Aurora colorway. See, it's got all those pretty deep 
colors, blues, maroons, green. It's just a really beautiful color. So I did choose to get a full case of that, which is 24 skeins. They come in packs of three. So you get eight packs for $24. And then they add on, you know, your normal tax. Had it shipped to my store. So I walk in to pick up the yarn. And Aaron says to me, Is this an order I already have? Or is it an order you just placed? Because we're unloading the truck. I said, Yeah, I realized when I was walking past that you're unloading the truck. She said, Let me see. She looked at it. Oh, yeah, I've got that. Let me go get it. She comes back up with two boxes. I'm looking at her like, why are there two boxes? So she does the whole thing with the first box, which is that yarn. And then she says to me, do you want the other box as well? I said, uh, I've already picked up all my orders. She goes, well, this is the parade that you ordered. Um, if you want to take it with you, you can. And I said to her, Aaron, I've already picked it up and been refunded for it as well. She said, well, it's yours to take if you want. No, I did not take it. Um, which... Apparently, Dollar Tree, since they've merged with Family Dollar, has really got an issue with their IT and their ordering system. Um, um, I had posted on the Scraptastic Yarns Facebook group about it, and a lot of people were talking about, well, they haven't even gotten theirs. They were told that they were canceled, and uh, then when they went to get in to get their money back, that uh, they're not getting the full refund, all kinds of other issues, which, um, yeah, Dollar Tree's got a little bit of a problem. So, um, and as you know, they had told me my order had been canceled, and then the next morning it showed up. So, it's anybody's guess, it may happen to you as well. You may actually be getting yarn, just don't know it. You know, I don't know what to tell you about that other than they have made a big mistake over the past couple of days, weeks. I'm going to put my mic back on. The only other finished objects that I have are a couple of baby hats, four of them. Did these while I was in the casino. Um, I did go to the casino. And Wednesday, we get to the bus stop, and there's this beautiful bus. And there are seats that are, they look leather. They're not. They're vinyl. But they reclined, and, you know, there was lots of leg room, and they were like recliners. And you also had cup holders, and uh, it was a very nice little bus. I teased about, are we on the high roller bus? To which the gal said, no, but we're going to nickname it that from now on. What it was is we only had 26 people going. The bus holds 30, as well as the driver, which would be 31. And then it has the bathroom because, you know, when you're on the road for three hours on a bus trip, you need a bathroom. So... <laughs> This bus was designed for the Penn State Big Weeks for when they go to away games or traveling around for different games. It was not in use. We only needed the smaller bus. The one small bus that they have does not have a bathroom. So we got lucky and we got the fancy bus. So <laughs> it was kind of nice. Um, at the end of the video, there is footage of the uh, 
replica of the Statue of Liberty that sits in the Susquehanna River. Um, it is um, a very interesting item. And uh, yeah, I took that while we were moving. So you might not want to watch that. I will warn you before. And then I show you the field as we're coming up into the casino. There's just a little glimpse of the casino. But the casino actually looks like a prison. When we first came up the very first time, I thought it was a prison. But it's a very nice casino. And what I find most amazing about this casino is there are several venues for eating at the casino. Uh, prices are decent prices. I mean, I got a sandwich for five dollars, um, drink for two dollars. So, you know, you if you go to Mohegan Sun or some of these other casinos, sandwiches are like fourteen, fifteen dollars. Nothing less than eight dollars. Drinks are like three dollars. You know, so it was rather interesting, you know, to be there. Do have a couple of finished items, and one of those is this lap can. It is folded in half. Now I'm showing this and I can't remember if I showed you it last week or not. I don't think I did, but if I did, it's the same lap can. I did use three packages, so I used nine skeins of the unforgettable to make this blanket. And uh, The only other object that I have finished is another lap can. And this is done with a bulky yarn. And this pattern is a Lion Brand pattern. I believe it's called the five and a half hour afghan. It takes very little time at all. It's basically a V-stitch. And uh, I went around the edge with single crochet. And then the last row was a half double crochet. And I used the Hometown USA Little Rock Granite because I had 11 balls of it. So, I did manage to get rid of 10 balls of it, but I still have that one skein. So it'll go for hats or something like that. Um, those are the only other finished objects that I do have. Um, I did want to show you some of the bags. These are not bags yet. They are fabrics that um, are going to be made into bags. I had asked my husband if I still had the spider with the spider webs. And because I thought I had used this all, I actually made a crazy quilt, um, quilt as you go, done in, in all of my Halloween fabrics one year, and then, then I bought enough of this for backing, so I thought I had used it all, did not, so this will be made into a couple of bags, and then I did find this lovely fabric, and, uh, it's a Benertex fabric called Glowing Webs, and it's uh, really pretty. So that'll be made into a couple of bags. And then, I love this fabric, and I'm having a hard time deciding whether I really want to cut them and make them into bags. Here is the first turtles. I did only get one yard of each because that's all that was left on the bolts. And then this is the other turtle. And those two turtle fabrics are a, I believe it's a Quilting Traditions fabric.
Yes, it is a quilting tradition fabric, and um, it's just really beautiful. So I am thinking about going back and getting some more, ordering some more, just because it's, they're just beautiful. I did get some boutiques to go on the insides, um, so I have pretty much decided they are going to be made into bags. I can't guarantee that they will all be for set. I'm sorry. It's the way it rolls. Um, as you know, it, those of you that were on Billy's um, last live on Friday night, um, she had asked what everybody was doing, and I'm making lapgans because our annual knit and run is coming up in October, and we need more lapgans. And this is basically just a V-stitch. This is um, Mary's over at Wild Crochet's double V-stitch pattern. Um, I did extend it. She uses, I think in the sample that she did was 102. Um, I actually, I needed one. We needed one that was for a larger gentleman in a wheelchair. So I extended mine to 142 um, to get this longer leg for him. And I am just using my scraps to make that uh, afghan. But there was a comment that folks were wanting to know if they could help with those lapgans. Folks, if you want to help with these lapgans, you go right ahead. But my biggest problem with that is it's expensive to ship things like this. Um, but if you want to, you can. I did have another thought that uh, perhaps we could do, you know, if you want to, you could send just granny squares. Uh, we could do 8-inch squares or maybe a mile a minute that's 40 inches long. Uh, just strips, and then I would join them together uh, with some of the yarns that I have here. I don't know. It's just something that, you know, if you really want to help, I won't say no to those items coming this way. Um, there is an address for, where you can mail them. I am not going to put the church's address up this week. I do want to talk with the pastor to see if it's okay to put that up for you send those directly to the church um, before I do that and I haven't had a chance to talk with the pastor about that yet so um, if you want to by all means send it to the post office PO box that's listed down below um, I'd be more than happy to take lapgans you know we're basically looking for lapgans that can go over the laps for folks that are in wheelchairs and they can be pretty much any size um, just think about the size of the people you know that might be in a wheelchair you know if you want to make if not don't worry about it we'll be fine um, somehow it always works out I you know that's that's how God works um, if we don't have enough then we just keep working you know, throughout the year to get enough to provide um, the need for that. Um, but like I said, if there's a need in your community, um, you fill that need if you can in your community. Um, that way you're not having to, to uh, use money to ship it. You know, because like I said, it can get costly, especially nowadays. It just seems like it's getting higher and higher every time you turn around. So, uh, yeah, but if you want to send 8-inch granny squares, whatever type, or if you would like to send mile-a-minute strips, they're about 40 inches long. Um, they can be any kind of yarns, because um, I'll just put them together, you know, as we go. And uh, that is it for today's 
podcast because there is no what incarnation. Um, I will do some next week, but um, yeah, I'll see you again soon. Bye. And remember, choose kindness. I did forget. I need to warn you about the moving. The uh, the video at the very end here coming up does have a lot of movement. If you give motion sickness, you can stop now. All right. See you again soon. Bye.